questions for Dylan. Dylan, how long have you waited for this moment and, and kind of break down your, your first game? I think I've been waiting since I could think about playing football, probably eight years old. Um, I mean, I just try to take it all in, um, not be like a tough guy, football player. You know, you, you got to be a human and enjoy the enjoy the scene. And um, yeah, it was a lot of fun. And, you know, the fans showed out you know, like I knew they would. What was it like having all the fans around you there for the first play and having all of, them, of Memorial Stadium behind you? Yeah, it means a lot um, to have that kind of support for our team, and uh, and just to have have them behind us. You know, it's there's no place like it, and um, very grateful to be in this position um, with all my teammates. And um, yeah, I'm grateful. That first touchdown passes the expectation, just the reality of uh, when it happened. Yeah, I uh, when I threw the ball, I mean, I kind of got hit, um, and I didn't really see it go. And so I just listened for the crowd, and when they, when they, you know, were cheering, and I looked, and Zay started stumbling, and I was like, just stay up, like, just stay up and score, and uh, he did, and he made a tremendous play on it. On a two-minute drill, what's going through your mind as you're trying to manage that moment because it's kind of a tight clock there, and then the throw to Jamal. Um, your coach was very praiseworthy of how you handled that moment. What was going through your own mind? Yeah, I've been. Our team has been trained on the, on those situations, um, and you know, obviously, having that communication in the helmet um, helps. Um, but you know, we've we've seen a lot of those situations come up in practice. So when it came to the game, it, we just fell back to the level of our training. And um, Jamal made a fantastic catch, and um, you know, that was a big touchdown to, to end the half. What you see on on the play on Emmett's long run, um, where you had to make a check, and I think there was a defensive check. Um, coach was. Complimentary of, of your your mind work the way it worked on that. What 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 did you see uh, from the defense? Yeah, it was just a look we saw all week in film. Um, we weren't sure if we wanted to do um, what we were trying to check into, um, and I think two nights ago, um, my uncle came to me and told me like this is what we want to do and like let's do it. So we, you know we we got into the look and they adjusted and uh, you know we adjusted back to what we wanted and um, Emmett put his foot in the ground and made a huge run and and that set us up to score. I think I did pretty good. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of a lot of things that that we want to fix and and, and uh, clean up. But um, you know, it's hard to get wins in college football, um, and for for our team to get get the first one of the season, um, you know, it's exciting. And uh, yeah, just look forward to getting better. On that opening drive, I mean, going down and, and leading the offense to a touchdown. I mean, how important was that to kind of set the tone for how the offense was going to operate? Yeah, uh, we we love the challenge that we get the ball first, um, and we just we just knew like we we practice all week. We practice honestly since January on on for that moment um, to start the game off right. And our guys came out and um, set the tone. Uh, our old line was moving people, running backs were running over people, and receivers making plays. So um, I was very very pleased on, on how we handled that. Got in a bit of a tough situation early with the second and thirty on the first drive. Just. How did the offense get out of that and you know get to the end zone after being backed up so far? Yeah, it's just a what's next mentality. Um, you know, we say it, we say it, and you know it's one thing to say it and then to believe it and act on it. Um, so I'm very, very proud on how we acted on that. Uh, coaches got us back in a groove, and um, you know we kind of started rolling and and we didn't look back. Going back to Sam's question a couple of minutes ago on in helmet communication, how much did it help you having a coach in your ear? not having to run over to the sideline and, and get some of that offensive adjustment while you're out there on the field? Uh, it's, it's nice to have that. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's really just the play call. Um, they tell us the play call, and then, you know, we have our whatever we have in that play. Um, but it, it's very helpful uh, to have, have your offensive coordinator talking to you and, um, you know, kind of it just brings a, a calming to you um, to hear, you know, hear him call the play. He's very calm in the headset and, um yeah, I, I like what, like having it. Can you can spare uh, share a special moment with your your dad and family down on the field. Uh, like, could you tell how he was processing your day? Yeah, he had glasses on, so I couldn't see if he was crying or not. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, that was that was a special moment. Um, you know, it's always a, a ritual of ours to you know have a pregame prayer on the field, but um, to have it on you know college, first college game, all my family there, um, it, it meant a little more especially with my dad being going to this school 
and the marquee left was naming the stadium. So, yeah, it was a great special moment for our family, one we won't forget. Seeing the other quarterbacks get in, how, how, how fun was that for you to, to even see a guy like Jalen get in who joined your team mm -hmm. late and, and get that opportunity? Yeah, it, it's it's awesome to see those guys you know, get in. They put a lot of work in. Um, they do a lot of work for us, and and that was our goal. This game was to you know handle our business. So the guys that busted their tail for you know scout team or you know second string get get those guys in. And um, yeah, after the game, Jalen and I just shared, shared a special moment like. Uh, you know, both our dreams came true. Um, to, his dream was to play here, and and obviously my dream was to play in Nebraska. So, um, yeah, it was a special moment for us. Let me ask you real quick, uh, what, what are you most happy with today? Like, what are you most pleased by your game today? Uh, I think just, you know, kind of handling that low we had. Um, it, I thought we handled it very well. Uh, you know, I couldn't, couldn't have done it without – my team and uh, my offensive line protecting me, and um, at the end of the day, my receivers made plays, and and their defense didn't. Um, that's what it comes down to: is just making plays. And I'm very, very happy that that we made those plays, and um, you know, excited to, to keep going. Yep.